First, extend the awning until it has reached a fully open position. This will alleviate pressure on the gas strut, making it easier and safer to remove. Next, gently pry away the black spacers that are found on the pins. You can do this by using a flathead screwdriver. You'll remove the spacers where the pitch arm meets the outer arm, where the pitch arm meets the mount arm on the side of the coach, and lastly, where the gas strut meets the inner arm on the awning. If necessary, you can move wires or wire covers out of the way in order to more easily access these spacers. Also, be sure to hang on to all of these, as we'll be using them when we go to reassemble the awning after we have replaced the gas strut. In order to remove the pins, we're going to use tin snips to remove the push nuts securing the pins on the awning. The push nuts are a one-time use component, so once they've been removed, we'll be replacing them with new ones once we go to reassemble these components. Before disassembling, be sure that the roll tube is properly supported. With the help of another person, gently remove the pins in each respected location. A hammer might be helpful in order to get the pins completely removed as it alleviates some of the pressure that might be on the pins from operation. Now it's time to replace our gas strut with the new one. The cylinder or the thicker portion of the gas strut needs to be installed so it's above the shaft or the smaller portion of the gas strut. This will allow for the awning to operate properly and reduce the risk of damage to other components should the gas strut be installed upside down or in an improper manner. As we secure these components back in place, we'll be using a 7 16 socket to push the push nuts down onto the pins and make sure they're properly secured. Be careful that no wires are pinched in the process of putting the pins back together on the awning. Once all of our pins have been secured, we'll put the black spacers back on the awning in each of the locations we initially removed them from. This will allow for more stability as well as proper alignment of all of the awning components, which also allows for smoother operation of the awning. Once all the spacers have been installed, extend and retract the awning fully a couple of times to ensure that everything is working properly. 